Yo, sup. Aren't you that Da Vinci fellow? Why, yes, I am. Who are you? I am Einstein. How do you do? Very well, thank you. I've been thinking about NMR. What's that? NMR stands for Nuclear Magnetic Resonance. That sounds complicated, so I've decided I don't like it. If you know something about magnets and something about absorption spectroscopy it's actually really simple. I don't believe it's that easy. It is. Oh, you have to be able to add one onto other numbers too. I can add one to things. Hmm. What is 2 plus 1? 2 plus 1 is 3. Do you like my hat? Best. Hat. Ever. Tell me more about this NMR. Some atomic nuclei can behave like very weak magnets. They have a charge and a quantum mechanical property called spin. Spin? Spin. In an external magnetic field the direction of the spin of the nucleus affects its energy. Is that like having two bar magnets aligned north north south south or north south north south? Yes. That is a good analogy. We know that it takes different amounts of energy to hold magnets in different orientations relative to each other. I see. In a very strong external field the energy difference between the nuclear spin states is very small. How small? Like the energy of visible light. No. Much, much smaller than that. The energy difference between the spin states is in the radio frequency region of the electromagnetic spectrum. So some radio frequency energy can be absorbed by the nuclear spin to flip it from one spin state to another. That's right. So NMR is just an absorption spectrum for nuclei absorbing radio waves. That's right. Why do different nuclei absorb different radio frequencies? We are only going to think about the nucleus of the hydrogen atom. We call this proton NMR. Isn't that a bit simple? It is not difficult. But it's very useful because most organic chemicals have hydrogen in them, and they are all almost the same isotope. So all hydrogen nuclei are the same and so all the proton NMR spectra look the same? No. The precise frequency of radiation that a nucleus absorbs depends on its environment in the molecule. What do you mean by environment? We mean what other atoms are present and where the proton is in relation to them. This is the chemical environment. Slight differences in chemical environment cause slight changes in the frequency of the radio wave needed to flip the spin. This is called chemical shift. Chemical shift? Chemical shift. In general being nearer something electronegative gives a proton a greater chemical shift. So the protons in chloromethane have a higher chemical shift than those in methane? Exactly. How do we know how many types of proton are in a molecule? Simple. Each type of proton will have a different chemical shift. So ethanol will have three peaks in its proton NMR spectrum. That's right. What's more, the relative heights of these peaks will tell us how many of each type of proton there are. In ethanol's NMR spectrum the peak from the CH3 protons will be three times higher than the peak from the OH proton. Woo! As they say, who?